freedom that we're talking about. And that freedom is worth standing strong for, as the scripture commands us. It is worth standing for. It is worth standing up and saying, no, I'm not going down that road to where I'm going to either be led or lead others into bondage. That doesn't mean we make arbitrary decisions. It doesn't mean that at all. It means that we follow what God's word says and we stand on that firmly. It doesn't mean that if I don't like something, I just don't do it. That's, that's, as my granddaddy used to say, that's just being ornery. But to stand on the principles of God's word, to be firm in that reality, is what genuine freedom is all about. And you'll never, ever, ever experience the love of God in your life or be able to share the love of God through your life without having that liberty to make the choice to love in that way. As a pastor, I desire that for you. I desire that for that other pastor I was speaking to just yesterday. I desire that for that young man I talked to a week ago tomorrow that I'll be facing again tomorrow. I desire that true liberty that only can be found in Jesus Christ. And so today, if you're sitting here and you've never made the decision to accept Christ as Lord and Savior of your life, you need to start that today. That journey begins by you saying, Jesus, I need you in my life. I'm a sinner. I recognize I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. I'm asking you to come in and be my Savior and show me the way so that I might experience this liberty that this guy is talking about today. And if you're sitting here today and you're, you're already a Christian, you're already a Christ follower, and you go, you know, I've just wandered off the trail a bit. Hey, I, I can relate to that. I understand that. Been there, done that, ain't no fun. Let me come home, Lord. That's the prayer. Let me come home, Lord. And if you're sitting here today and you just go, I need to get that straight. You can, you can make your way up here during the, the time of giving, and you can just come. I'm going to be sitting right there, Pastor Tom sitting right here, and say, would you just pray for me? And one of us would be delighted to pray with you about whatever it is that you're dealing with. So as we come to give our tithes and our offerings, come first and foremost in the love of Jesus Christ. Come freely to give of yourself. And don't do anything by burden or by feeling of guilt, but, but give according to what it is you would have. As our guest today, you're not